Ciao bene. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Anna Taylor. Today's video will be a little different because that's my travel video. I just got back from Rome, Italy, and I thought it would be a great idea to give you a little glimpse in terms of what I've seen and where I've been in my, you know, five day little Italy trip. I will do separate video in terms of what I bought there and, you know, in general, my, you know, shopping experience a little later. So why Rome? because me and my sister we just decided to do a little you know european getaway and we decided to go to a place where both of us have never been to which is rome and rome such a historic place i think and it has been always in our bucket list and because we only had five days for our trip we decided to dedicate those five days strictly to rome i'm sure there are other beautiful cities in italy like you know bellagio like como milan but that's a whole different trip and i'm sure we're gonna go back there to see other beautiful places so we dedicated this five days strictly to rome so on the first day when we just arrived we arrived we arrived, we arrived around 11 a.m. So we went to our hotel, which is LHP Siena Hotel, highly, highly recommended. It's in the center of like everything, close by to like everything you need. Uh, we dropped our bags and we just decided to, you know, take a stroll to the city. Our hotel was right next to Spanish Steps, which is where we went first. We actually just left the hotel without a particular agenda, but literally a few minutes later stumbled onto Spanish Steps. Wow, there were like so many people. We didn't expect that at all. So many tourists on this little square, if I could call it that. So this main street uh, where the hotel is located, it, it's like surrounded by this designer stores from like Hermes, Dior, Valentino, Gucci. So because this was our first day, we didn't really have any agenda. So we kept on walking, just admiring the beautiful streets, stopping to sit down and have a cappuccino. Because apparently there's no such thing as coffee or to-go coffee. It's like frowned upon. You absolutely have to sit down or stand by the bar, take your time and enjoy, and then go to do your thing. So we did that. We had authentic Italian coffee, not Starbucks, because there were not even one Starbucks around us. And somehow after wandering around, we ended up at the Fountain de Trevi. So that was definitely a highlight of the day. I mean, we've seen so many photos of this place, but it's really just, it's just breathtaking. And let me tell you, I had no idea how do people take great and attracted photos of this fountain because there were like hundreds of people in the way and even though we tried to get a few great shots, it was like a real struggle. But definitely worth it. We actually went back to the fountain that heavy quite a few times. We went back there like during the day, like, you know, during the evening. We even went there almost like at 1 o'clock, 1 a.m and still there were like hundreds of people hundreds but it was beautiful the next day was our coliseum day we knew that the second day we wanted to go to you know coliseum you cannot go to rome and not go to coliseum we actually decided to walk to coliseum rather than like taking uber or taxi Good morning one time i even tried to order uber and it showed me i think it was like 15 minute wait and I said, just not worth it. So we took this beautiful street and we just started walking. It took us approximately like 20 to 30 minutes to walk, which I recommend to walk because you get to see so many beautiful places and you know, just you in Rome, you wanna walk, you don't wanna take a taxi. So when we got to Coliseum, we expected to see a sea of people, but I mean, there was a lineup literally, I guess it was like a three hour wait just to get the ticket to get inside. And luckily this lady, she offered us to pay like a express fee to skip the line, which we did. I also recommend paying, I think it was like 35 euros just to skip the line worth every penny so we had a tour guide we, he was amazing i mean he was you know so fun kind of guy and uh we had a group of about 10 people and uh you know headphones everything like we looked like real tourists <laughs> it was pretty awesome that for 35 euros you get to skip the line you get to actually listen and not just see because you don't know what you're seeing and that way you get you know 
to get the knowledge of the, all, all this historic stuff and it's just so interesting. So we went in, did the whole touristy thing, listened to a lot of history of the Coliseum, all the bloody battles and it was actually great that we got a guide with a sense of humor who wasn't trembling and it, was, it wasn't boring at all. He was actually quite entertaining and from now on I will actually opt for getting a tour guide rather than exploring on my own because it's great to hear the story to go along with that what you see. So after the Coliseum when we left we had a mission, me and my sister. We actually while we were still at home we said that we really want to go to that street that's like full of those antique vintage stores so you know we found out how to get there it was like about 20 minute walk from the Coliseum and we got there we were so excited to get there but once we actually got there it was a little disappointing and a lot smelly turns out the designer stores full of old and antique looking things smell and they smell old this antique stores it's like you're going through a bunch of old things and when I say old I mean old at one point you don't care if it's like a Gucci bag from 1920s because that Gucci bag smells like 1920s <laughs> but again I will talk about the shopping experience in my separate video guys so stay tuned our third day was a pre-planned Vatican trip we purchased this trip from Get Your Guide, which again, I so recommend to order online ahead of time. We booked an early entry to Vatican, Sistine Chapel and St. Peter's Museum. Yes, an early rise. I think you gotta be at the meeting point by like 7 a.m., but you get to have your breakfast, your freshly baked goodies, you know, cappuccino, very friendly stuff. Like I do do recommend to do this in advance, to book this everything in advance, very important. So the guy that we got was so awesome, very knowledgeable, experienced and interesting. His name was Julian and we got to visit Vatican one hour before it opened to public. I recommend doing so because that's because you have no idea what happens the minute the doors are open to public. You actually get to see places hear what your guide has to say and you get to walk around the Vatican City like without bumping into each other. This three and a half hour tour cost about $150 and was worth every penny. To me, Vatican was the most magnificent place that I visited in Rome. Even though technically Vatican is not part of Rome because it's an independent state with their own citizens, about 600 of them, they have their own passports. Like, can you believe it? I, like, I did not know that. Vatican was incredible. I mean, the ceiling with the Michelangelo's artwork simply left us speechless. Uh, in this chapel, you weren't allowed to talk. Like you had to be super quiet, like it's a rule there. You actually had to sit down there and look at the ceiling at all of this, you know, Michelangelo's artwork. Just sit there quietly and just take it all in. So funny enough, I remember when I was little, my parents went to Rome and they bought me and my sister one of those touristy t-shirts with the Michelangelo artwork. I couldn't believe that I actually had a chance to see it in like live. I mean, that was amazing because I had this memory from my childhood of this t-shirt and you know, all the memories that my parents used to tell me how they've seen Rome back in those days. That was like, it was like more than 30 years ago. That's where they went there. And like, here we are, we, you know, looking at this artwork in flash. I mean, un in real. Our last day we decided to take it easy and to take it easy I mean shopping and that wasn't easy. Italy, uh, Rome in particular, is amazing for shopping. Like you get this, you know, all the brands like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, everything what you know and there are some authentic Italian stores that you have no idea existed. I mean but again I will talk about my shopping experience separately in another video.
дотировали. And that was that. We had uh, five days in beautiful Rome. I will make sure I'll link below all the necessary links that, you know, the, all the tour guides, all the places that I visited, everything that you need is gonna be right there down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe, ask any questions you'd like, I'll answer them all. Thank you for watching guys, stay stylish, and I will see you soon.